Hey guys, Miss Osuna here. Today we are going to work on part one of two. This is going to be a cinnamon colored sweater dress. It's gonna have a keyhole opening at the neckline. And then we will do silvery gray hair for our croquis. And we will do big earrings and also boots. You'll only see the top of the boots, but definitely you'll be able to get the effect of this winter dress. So let's go on ahead and get started. I am simply tracing a croquis onto my marker paper. I have it underneath so I can see through my particular marker paper. If you cannot see through your marker paper, I recommend that you trace it and then rub it off onto your marker paper. The idea is that we never draw directly on the marker paper itself so that the final work is nice and clean and professional looking.
Now it's time to erase some of the lead from our marker paper because remember we really want to have a nice clean professional looking finish. We don't want that lead to muddy when we put the marker on top of it. So go on ahead, get your kneaded eraser and erase some of the lead just so that you can barely see the drawing. My first color is a camel color and I'm just going to start to fill in just to have a layer of texture underneath. So I'm going in sort of an up and down motion so that I have the texture of the lines on this knit sweater dress. And once again, I'm going to fill in most of it, leaving a few white bits. Now that I've filled in the first layer, I'm gonna go on ahead with the same marker and put in sort of stripes. And these are just representing the lines that you see from the actual knitted cable knit sweater. So make sure it's fully dry before you start to put your stripes or lines because we do want them to show through. Now I'm just gonna softly go down the center of that cable knit with the same color. This is all my first color. So remember you typically have three shades to make one color. So this is my lightest. Eventually though, this is going to be a cinnamon, which is a darker brown. Hey. 
I put in some skin tone as well. And you of course can choose whatever skin tone you have. My skin tone was a bleach color. Now for the skin color, I'm going to add more stripes to the outer edge and just darken everything with a caramel color. So this is my second color. Next, I'm gonna to move to colored pencil. This is a Sienna color, and this is just to give some thickness. So my first two layers were marker. Now I'm adding some thickness with my colored pencil. I'm just making very light circles to give texture. And then of course, I'm going to give that sort of a line feeling so that we can see the actual knit fabric as well. Thank you. 
now that I filled in the lines with my sienna, I'm gonna go in between those lines, in between those spaces with white because we wanna create that sense of depth. So those lines are darker and then in between is lighter. And here I'm going to add little dots and little comma shapes on top of everything because I want to now start to create another layer of texture. This is my white ink gel pen. Sometimes if it doesn't work on top of your marker, just scribble it on a scratch paper on the side and then it will start to work again. So we're just going to repeat going back and forth filling in each section making sure that I have little circles and that the darker edges are very very obvious and that that thick texture starts to show up so we're going to just layer after layer after layer back and forth. I'm choosing to move on to a terracotta marker at this point and I'm using the wedge tip side of my brush just to add even more depth but that would be a step that you could skip because I still ultimately do have a darker marker. This terracotta color is very similar to that caramel color that I used earlier so you could skip this step. I'm just adding it once again to have more depth and then ultimately my fourth marker will be chocolate okay so i'm filling in these lines and i just want to make sure that each section has a nice amount of texture before i move on to the next section so i'm up here at this turtleneck collar area and then i'm going to now do little circles to give that textured area and i want to make sure the edges are nice and fuzzy so that you can see it's not a smooth texture now i am going to move to the chocolate color that i mentioned so i actually used four but typically you can really get away with just using three different markers because my two markers were very similar the terracotta was very similar to my caramel now I'm going to move to a really dark chocolate colored pencil and once again I will from here on out just let the music play I'll stop making so many comments and you are just going to continue to go back and forth until you capture the layers and the depth and the thickness that you are after. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to move on to the face and I will move right away from one color to the next so that it doesn't dry because I want to have a nice blended texture here. Right away I'm going to use my colorless blender to make sure that it doesn't dry too much. And once again you can fill your colorless blender with a refill liquid. It's mostly made of rubbing alcohol and glycerin, but you can buy them from an art supply store or you can go online and find a recipe and create your own. Just test it out on scratch paper before you actually use it on your final work. Hey. 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 
Okay, that's it for the first part of this tutorial. I look forward to seeing your work. You can feel free to reach me on Instagram at Corey Osuna. And until we meet again, happy sketching. <laughs>